Tom Chacham walks into a car, a taxi. Taxi driver says, you know, my best friend, he looks just like you. I'll tell you the story. We were in India after the army, and in the tent one night, the boa constrictor starts wrapping itself around my friend's legs, going up his body. Finally, when it reaches the neck, my friend scream out, Shema Yisrael, Shema Lekino, Shema Chod. The snake just left. So he became religious. He is Rosh Kolel now. He is big tzaddik. So the, the Tamachacham looks to the taxi driver who was with a clean, shaven head. He said, what about you? The taxi driver says, what? It didn't happen to me. We see from this so many times that we want to have inspiration. We want to have just a revelation. We think that that's the thing that's going to bring us back to Hashem. But as in this week's Parsha, the Yidin saw Har Sinai, Kabbal Satora, they saw the splitting of the sea. They saw the Ted Marcos, and still, 40 days later, they were able to serve the worst of other Zaras. Inspiration is like aspiration, it's like breathing. We have to take that inspiration and make it real. Only then does it mean anything and will it last. Five questions, a few questions that we can ask to make inspiration real is what does this inspiration mean? What is it teaching me? How can I apply it to my life? What exercises can I do to apply it actually? And what obstacles do I see that are going to come in my way of accomplishing these exercises? And what can I do to overcome those obstacles? And finally, the most important is, how important is this to me from a scale of one to five? And why? Once we have these things clear, we can actually make our inspirations something that lasts with us for the rest of our lives. Have a good one.